Uh, hello, everyone. This is a presentation about our paper graph contrastive learning with kernel dependence maximization for social recommendation. Uh, I'm Nishia Lian and I'm from Beijing Jiao Tong University. Social recommendation aims to use social relationships to predict user item interactions. Uh, graph neural networks can capture high order connective patterns between users and items. However, their effectiveness heavily relies on the quality of the label date. Struggling with spells or noise label date to mitigate label dependency issues, contrastive learning has rekindled interest in recommendation. Contrastive learning's capacity to extract features from unlabeled date offers promise in addressing the sparsity. Uh, the efficacy of contrastive learning for recommendation may hinge on their capacity to learn representation uniformity by mapping the data onto a hypersphere. Nonetheless, applying contrastive learning to downstream recommendation tasks remains challenging, as existing contrastive learning methods encounter difficulties in capturing the nonlinear dependence of representation in high-dimensional space and struggle to learn hierarchical social dependency among users, which are essential points for modeling user preferences. Um, firstly, uh, the success of contrastive learning applied to recommendation primarily stems from the uniform representation distribution implicitly acting as popularity in debiasing and capturing the intrinsic uh, characteristics of all users and items. However, the original intent of L2 normalization is to map the data onto a unit app sphere. This process doesn't change the dimensional uh, dimensionality or uh, dimensionality of the data, but only influence the scale of the data, leading to weak differentiation. Um, moreover, it may lose the magnitude and uh, uh, leading to uh, information loss. Uh, here, both meet independence criteria and provide a solution to take away nonlinear dependence uh, of representation in high dimensional space. Uh, however, existing representation level mentions heavily rely on the designed perturbations. Excessive perturbations may cause semantic deviations, uh, while subtle perturbations may cause inadequate variability for, of augmented representations. So the first challenge is how to learn the nonlinear dependence of representations in high dimensional space while empowering the ability to maintain semantic consistency and variability for robust and the generalizable recommendation. Second, the influence of user social network is critical for user modeling. It is advisable to harness the high order social influence to enact structure level augmentations. Uh, existing method extract subgraphs to learn the connectivity patterns of a graph. Uh, however, uh, it may lose uh, critical structures and uh, the uh, cost retention of noise data. Um, community theory provides a solution to uh, learn hierarchical social dependency. Mm. Uh, however, uh, and the set, uh, however, they can't learn the connective of uh, a higher existing method can learn the connective of nodes inside and outside a community and can uh, learn the partial order relationship between next samples. So the second challenge is how to capture the hierarchical social dependency among users by leveraging uh, hierarchical topology while preserving community structures. Uh, inspired by the Herbert Smith independence criteria, we propose a, a graph contrastive learning with um, kernel dependence maximization for social recommendation. The first module we design is hierarchical topology enhanced social dependence uh, modeling. We, uh, we design uh, we first generate user node level representation and we design aggregate function, aggregate function to uh, obtain up community level representation and the global level representation. Uh, we bridge the uh, user node level representation and the global level representation by the community level representation to learn the hierarchical uh, so, uh, topology. We train a discriminator that distinguish between uh, between positive samples and the negative samples over over uh, community and the, the global level graph. Uh, 
We design community level mutual information based loss, L subscript MUC, and uh, global level mutual information based loss, LMUG. Um, hence, the social aware user representations X asterisk are uh, obtained while preserving the hierarchical social topology. Uh, the second model we design is the uh, graph. Uh, contrastive learning with kernel dependence maximization to generate symmetrical, uh, consistent, and uh, variable uh, um, uh, uh, representations. We, uh, we inject dumbbell distributed noise into user embeddings and item embeddings. Uh, we employ info and C loss to learn each user uh, to learn each representation by contrasting different augmented representations. Uh, uh, we uh, we use HSIC to learn uh, learn the kernel dependence of representation in high dimensional space. Uh, we uh, we, uh, we employ HSIC to measure the dependence between Z uh, tilde and Z double tilde via nonlinear transformation. Uh, through theoretical analysis, we derive a uh, let. Um, HSIC Z tito Z double tito suppress the correlation of augmented representations and cause poorly generalization to new uh, data sets. And uh, we find that HSIC Z tito Z tito limits the variance between the same augmented representation and decrease model sensitivity to input perturbations. We need to correctly estimate the value of uh, HSIC and we conduct Gumbel softmax uh, to uh, variable Z tilde and we obtain the specific uh, value of the HSIC. Mm. Then we, uh, we use the kernel functions K and L uh, and we indo CLKDM with the ability to map the representation in high dimensional space to uh, uh, in low dimensional space to high dimensional space. This process trains the uh, uh, dimensionality and captures the uh, nonlinear properties of data in high dimensional space. And uh, uh, we designed the uh, uh, Kernel dependence maximization function LOKDM. We enhance the dependence of uh, between the same augmented representation uh, of the uh, different augmented representations. And we maximize the kernel dependence between augmented augmented representations and minimize the uh, the same augmented representation. The third module we design is community guided social graph reconstruction, uh, motivated by the characteristics of community structures that users tend to uh, users in the same community tend to generate more social relationships than users in uh, different communities. We uh, propose the community structure a guided social graph reconstruction network to learn this partial order relationship for enhanced recommendation. Um, uh, you can see that in the figure uh, P in means that user UM and user P in are in the same community without social links. Uh, user PO means that user UM and user PO are in different community without links. And user UM um, tend to generate social links with P in uh, rather than with PO. And this, um, uh, this process uh, can effectively rebuild social relationships by incorporating community information and discrimination between positive and negative links within the community and outside the community. Uh, we uh, extensive experiments are conducted for model evaluation to answer the following research questions. Uh, how does CLKDM compare, uh, perform compared to state-of-the-art recommendation methods? How does each module contribute to CLKDM? How is the roughness of CLKDM? Uh, how do the par uh, hyperparameter affect CLKDM? And how efficient is the model CLKDM? Uh, we randomly split each data set into training validation tests. 
um, NDCG, Recall, HR, and Precision are used to evaluate the performance. Uh, we compare our model with MF-based method, GLM-based method, and SL or enhanced recommendation method. Table one, uh, table two is the overall performance comparison of our uh, model with other uh, baselines, and we can observe that CLKDM consistently attains superior performance over SL approaches. SL approaches such as SIMGCL and SGL consistently outperform pure GLM based approaches like DGCF and NGCF across various scenarios. Uh, Mm, we conduct module ablation study uh, and we find that each module contributes to our model. Uh, introducing HSIC into graph contrastive learning um, can effectively regulate the representation uniformity in kernel Hibbert space. Mm. And uh, uh, user representations are enhanced by injecting hierarchical social dependency into the embedding uh, propagation. Mm -hmm. We also conduct a model robustness test, and we find that our model is robust to dispersity and uh, noise interruptions. We also conduct a hyperparameter investigation, and we found that the kernel function selection is critical to our model. Uh, in conclusion, this work proposed a graph contrastive learning algorithm with kernel dependence maximization to provide uh, social recommendation with robustness and generalizable uh, sense for your listening.